used to be. No additional prayer requests? I was just going to say, I don't know, we did pray for our country and soldiers. Uh, Johnny's getting ready to move to, uh, he's gone transfer from uh, wherever he's stationed in New York. He's going to be moving out to Missouri. And they're getting ready to, and I just, I don't know, I was just thinking, you know, that's that's one of the kids, my nephew that I helped raise, and it's just like, you know, will I ever say it? Uh, you know, and, and we, the things <coughs> we went through, like I had to put my Rufus to sleep last year, they had a dog they had to put to sleep this last year, and it's like, we're so tied together in so many different ways, and then to, for somebody to be, Miles and miles and miles away. But our soldiers, no matter whether they're our kids or who they are, our soldiers need our protection. Israel is Absolutely. Our protection. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, we do pray for our military, and we do appreciate our veterans. And the men and women that serve our country. Let's do that prayer. Fathers, we've come together tonight. As Joe expressed earlier, we are grateful that we can be here. We do praise you and thank you for your son, Jesus Christ. Without him, Father, we would be hopeless as far as I'm concerned. But because of your son, Jesus Christ, we can face tomorrow because he lives. We're thankful, Father, that you loved us enough that you sent your son to offer us forgiveness for our sins. All of us are very much aware of our own sinfulness. And we just pray, Father, that you might help us to continue to be committed to the cause of Jesus Christ to keep moving forward. Realizing, Father, that there is a grand day awaiting when we will stand before the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, the one that you have exalted and given a name that is above every name. We pray, Father, we might lift his name high every day, not just in our words, but in our actions, that people might know that we are servants of Jesus Christ, the King. We pray, Father, that you might help us too as we battle this COVID to be kept safe. We pray that your hand of blessing and protection will be upon us. We pray, Father, for those that have it, that you would help them to get better. I know that today the Darby's contacted me, that Amy has it. We pray that she is going to get better and that none of the other family members will come down with it, especially Michael's mom. Father, if she was around Amy, we pray that it might not even affect her. We continue to pray for those that have lost a loved one, that you will comfort their hearts, and that you will help them to know that there are there is a brighter day ahead that we keep, keep looking up to. We again ask that you will minister to all those that we've got this in our bulletin and pray that you will take care of them. And as Becky has just expressed, we do pray for our military. Thank you for what they do in helping to protect our freedoms. We pray that these freedoms will be protected. There is a great deal of concern that if Joe Biden would end up going as president, that our protections, our freedoms would be absolutely gutted. He would probably stand here and, and deny that, Father, but he has been shown time and time again to lie. We just pray that these protections that we've been, been given, freedom of speech, freedom of worship, the, the right to bear arms, that, Father, the freedoms that we have as Americans, that those will be protected. Because we are very grateful for them, and we are grateful for the men and women that have sacrificed their lives to give us these freedoms. We pray your blessing upon them and ask that you will keep them safe and that you will bless their families. Bless also our military, our, our men and women in uniform, the police. We ask, Father, that you'll keep them safe. We know that every day it's a dangerous world out there that they're a part of, and it's even been more, made worse with those that have rallied to defund the police and they've attacked the police and throwing things at them and calling them names that we ask, Father, that you'll bless them. Thank you for the safety that they afford us. We again ask that you'll meet all the needs, both the spoken and unspoken needs, that, Father, you will continue to take care of us. We love you with all of our hearts and pray now that you might bless this time. Uh, I do want to pray also, Father, that there would be a revival within churches. I know that right now people are supposedly staying away because of the COVID, but I just pray that once the COVID thing is out of the way, that people would get back in your house of worship. And I say supposedly, because, Father, prior to the COVID, the churches have been going downhill, and people didn't have a reason then. It was just that they were choosing not to be in your house of worship. Father, we desperately need a revival. In fact, Father, I look at much of the problems that we're facing right now as a result of your people having abandoned their responsibility to be salt and light within our, within our world. And we pray that there could be a true revival. Those that are lost would see their need to get saved. And that, Father, there could be a building of your kingdom. 
We thank you again for being our God. We love you. And just ask your continued blessings upon these requests. May you be honored. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.